Hello everyone and welcome to the video lecture series of mobile application development. Students, in this lecture, we are going to learn about menus in Android. What are the different types of the menus and how we can implement it in our Android devices. Welcome everyone. This is our instructor Janice Shah. Now, let me just show you about the various menus in Android. Students, in Android, menu is a very much important part, definitely in each and every OS or we can say in each and every user interfaces, the menus are very much important because user can easily access the various functionality of any application or software by using the menu. So in order to menu, we should define the separate XML file. That means if you want to make a menu, you need to define a separate XML file that can be used in our application based on our requirements. Android Studio provides the standard XML format for the types of menus to define the menu items. Now, let me show you the different types of menus. There are three different types of menus are there. One is option menu, second one is context menu and third one is a pop-up menu. Now, let me just show you that how we can differentiate all of them. See, the first one is option menu. So whenever you try to run any application or I can say, let me just show you the example like of a WhatsApp. So students, when you try to uh, open up a WhatsApp application and when you right click on the that three dots over the top uh, right corner, then one menu will be popped, uh, just open. This is known as option menu, same like as a browser over here. Now the context menu, the context menu that means students, when you uh, long press on something item and one menu will open up right so that is known as the context menu and the pop-up menu that means when you click on some button and some menu is popped up to on your screen that is known as pop-up menu like in the gmail accounts we have like move to change labels uh, mark important mute this is all the pop-up menus okay and when you just uh, long press on particular image by surfing on a browser okay when you just long press on that particular image you may found some options like download image image open in a new tab search image for the google share image this all function it is all about the context menu so option menu that means whatever the menu we found on the right side in the top bar of the uh, toolbar okay uh, we just need to click over there and get up the menu and next when the context menu that means when you long press on something and you get the menu and pop up when you just click on single click event your one menu will be popped up on the screen that is known as pop up menu so these are the types of menu first one is an option second one is pop up and third one is a context menu so let me just give the brief about it little bit so option menu is a collection of the options for each and every activity it has a set of items that are useful to perform actions it helps you to combine multiple actions together as well on the pop-up menu, it displays the list of items in a vertical list that is anchored with view that you want to invoke. And the context menu is a floating menu that appears whenever the user performs a long click on any element. Now, so very first thing, how to create the menu.xml? I already told you that for the menu, we need to create the XML file or I can say a separate XML file to a particular menu. So how to create it? Let me just show you see first students you just need to right click on your resource folder so this is our project structure you just need to right click over here go to the new click on the android resource file after doing this you just need to check set the resource type as menu so we have the number of resource type over there like raw resources or we can say the further animation anim resources but here you just need to check out the menu okay so by selecting the resource type as a menu you can just give the file name to the menu here my file name is my menu.xml file rest of things just keep it as it is give the file name and click on the ok button so after clicking on the ok button students your menu file is ready so whenever you just open the menu.xml you will get such type of thing like menu xmlns android http colon slash slash schemas dot android dot com slash apk resource android and this menu open and menu close both tags are there next so now my menu files is ready so what the menu tag represents let me just show the tags so the first tag is a menu 
that defines the container of the menu items okay you can element must be as a root node as a menu you can hold one item or the group of items as well second tag is item so if you found like uh, recently we have seen like on the whatsapp we get like web whatsapp or chat history or we can say the privacy these are the menu items right so that type of items we can write inside the item tag group so group is a we can say the invisible container for the items so when three to four items are combined together it represent as a group so these all are the tags what are the different attributes that we need to define inside the menu tag sorry item tag see the first one is android id definitely we need to give id to each and every separate item in the menu icon uh, somehow you may found like on the right side of the corner you will get the notification icon over there or i can say the settings icon over there so you can also set students icons in the menu next is android title that set the title for the particular item and the show as action so as action that appears whether you are want to uh, appear the action item in app bar or not so the very first menu is the option menu so how we can uh, define the option menu how we can utilize it let me just show you so first the option, option menu xml file so first what we need to do we just need to right click on the resource folder select the android resource file select the type as a menu and write down the name so here i have write down the name as option underscore menu underscore example dot xml so this option menu example dot xml is my menu file for the option menu here the menu and menu both tags are automatically get ready and now i just need to define the android item title icon item title icon okay so you can write like this right now we are not going to show the icon that's why i do not write uh, show as action okay so here see the first item android id is mail android title is mail so i can refer is directly mail next so the mail upload and the share all three item you can easily see over here next in the option menu students see this is my main activity dot java file here this is main activity java file where i need to extends uh, app compatibility and implement see this pop-up menu on item click listener is not for the current context or i can say the option menu it is all about the pop-up menu let me just show you code for exactly for the option menu only so first you just need to bind the text details over here and register for the is also for the context menu so again these things should not be there in the context menu here what we need to do we just need to override a method on create option menu so what we what is our goal our goal is to override on create option menu need to write like menu inflator menu inflator is to get menu inflator then menu inflate dot dot inflate r dot menu dot select the option menu example file and write down menu and return true so see this is my main activity java file to on option item set selected so whenever students you just click on something it will show show you the message like you click on the mail it will show you the that you just click on the mail so that's why we need to worry a method that is known as on option item selected so menu item is there we just need to see r dot id dot mail if it is the case is r dot id dot mail then we need to toast a message hi mail if it is upload it will toast up hi upload if it is share you just toast up the share that means no change you need to do inside the activity underscore main dot xml file you will found your option menu over here here in my one example i have created all three menus so you may found the context menu and click me that i will explain in the next lecture so do not worry about it now let me just show the practical for the same this is my android menu file first what i did see i do not uh, need to worry about it see first you just need to right click over here on android resource folder cancel right click over here click on the new select the android resource file write down your file name and resource type as menu so this you can do inside the menu after creating it your file is auto folder is automatically created you can also create a new file right here see the new menu resource file a taste and just click on the ok so when you click on the ok students your taste.xml file will be created with the root element menu menu fine see if you want to see the code for the same you can see over here see menu menu now you just need to specify the items over here like item 
ओके एंड्रॉइड आई डी आई डी इज इक्वल टू आई कैन से इट इज अ टेस्ट ओके चैट एंड इन साइड द आइटम यू नीड टू गिव टाइटल वेट अ टाइटल इज चैट ओके सो यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट लाइक दिस एज वेल सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी द ऑप्शन मैन ओवर हेयर यू कैन सी द कोड फॉर द सेम सो दिस इज माई एंड टर्म एंड टाइटल रिमेंबर द टाइटल कूड नॉट बी राइट लाइक दिस सो टाइटल इज नॉट अ टैग यू नीड टू राइट लाइक दिस इन साइड लाइक दिस एंड्रॉयड वेट अ मिनिट लेट मी जस्ट शो यू सो एंड्रॉयड आई आई डी टाइटल इज अ सेल्फ क्लोजिंग टैग नो इट्स नॉट अ सेल्फ क्लोजिंग इट्स अ सेल्फ क्लोजिंग टैग सो जस्ट आई नीड टू रिमूव दिस क्लिक ओवर हेयर लाइक दिस एंड सी ओके सी आफ्टर राइटिंग द चैट यू कैन राइट लाइक दिस टाइटल एज वेल लाइक टाइटल इज इक्वल टू चैट ओके एंड यू कैन एड द आइटम ओवर हेयर फाइन सो दिस इज हाउ स्टूडेंट्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी एडेड थ्री आइटम्स लाइक आई डी टाइटल मेल अपलोड अपलोड एंड शेयर शेयर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी द मेन एक्टिविटी ऑफ जवाब फाइल सो हियर डू नॉट फॉर राइट दिस ओके टेक्स्ट वी एंड रजिस्टर फॉर द कंटेक्स मेनू जस्ट फोकस ऑन द दिस मैथड फर्स्ट वी नीड टू ओवर राइट द ऑन क्रिएट ऑप्शन मेनू where we need to write menu inflator menu inflator is equal to get menu inflator menu inflator dot inflate r dot menu dot option menu example and write down the menu over here then return true the next method we need to override is this like override the option on option item selected so on option item selected students you just need to write like get item id r dot id dot mail here the this mail is referred by here see this id okay so now See the main activity Java file. It will toast a message high mail for the upload, upload and share the share. So this is my final code for the on option, or I can say option menu. Fine. Now just let me the run this particular code and show you the output for the same. So finally the application is running successfully. Let me just show you the output. So here it is. I have the three different menus, but for the particular program, I am just going to show you this particular option menu. When I click on the mail, the high mail is popped up. Students, when I click on the upload, the high upload is toast us toast message is shown, and on the on share, the high share is shown. Fine. So this is all about the option menu in Android. So students, that's all about the option menu. In the next upcoming lecture, I will show you the rest of the part of the code where I have implemented the context menu and the pop-up menu. Still if you have any doubt in this lecture then please feel free to ask me thank you so much